together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We are all pilgrims on this earth, accompanied by our Blessed Mother, the most holy rosary. We come together on this beautiful church, on this minor basilica, to ask God's favor and to show our faith to our Savior. And to be with them to offer this Mass and to receive Jesus in our lives, we acknowledge our sinfulness and ask God's pardon and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and, and my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, as a blessed Mary, ever virgin, all, all the angels and, and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who restore human nature to yet greater dignity than at its beginnings, look upon the amazing mystery of your loving kindness and in those you have chosen to make new through the wonder of rebirth, may you pre preserve the gifts of your enduring grace and blessing. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles from Papos Paul and his companions set sail and arrive at Perga in Pamphylia. But John left them and returned to Jerusalem. They continued on from Perga and reached Antioch in Pisidia. On the Sabbath, they entered into the synagogue and took their seats. After the reading of the law and the prophets, the synagogue official sent word to them, my brothers, if one of you has a word of exhortation for the people, please speak. So Paul got up, motioned with his hand and said, Fellow children of Israel and you others who are God-fearing, listen. The God of these people Israel chose our ancestors and exalted the people during the sojourn in the land of Egypt. With uplifted arm, he led them out, and for about 40 years, he put up with them in the desert, when he had destroyed seven nations in the land of Canaan. He gave them their land as an inheritance. At the end of about 450 years, after these things, he provided judges up to Samuel the prophet. They asked for a king. God gave them Saul, son of Kish, a man from the tribe of Benjamin, for 40 years. Then he removed him and raised up David as their king of him. He testified, I have found David, son of Jesse, man after all my heart. He will carry out my every wish. From this man's descendants, God, according to his promise, has brought to Israel a Savior, Jesus. John heralded his coming by proclaiming a baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. And as John was completing his course, he would say, What do you suppose that I am? I am not he. Behold, one is coming after me. I am not worthy to unfasten the sandals of his feet. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The favors of the Lord I will sing forever. To all generation, my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, my kindness established forever. In heaven, you have confirmed your faithfulness. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. I have found David, my servant. With my holy oil, I have anointed him, that my hand may be always with him, and that my arm may make him strong. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him, and through my name shall his horn be exalted. He shall say of me, You are my Father, my God, the Rock, my Savior. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Please stand. Jesus Christ, you are the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead. You have loved us and freed us from our sins by your blood. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus had washed the disciples' feet, he said to them, Amen, I'm, Amen, I say to you, no slave is greater than his master, nor any messenger greater than the one who sent him. If you understand this, blessed are you if you do it. I am not speaking of all of you. I know those whom I have chosen. But so that the scripture might be fulfilled, the one who ate my food has raised his heel against me. From now on, I am telling you before it happens so that when it happens, you may believe that I am. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever receives the one I send, receives me, and whoever receives me, receives the one who sent me. The good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. A blessed morning to all. Magandang umaga, aking uh, mga kababayan. May mga bigat, karigiti padak na ilukano, no ada na irana na ditoy. Masantos ya kabwasan sa mga mahal nating tagamanawag at lahat ng mga mapagmahal na Pangasinense. I am blessed, especially this moment, because this is my first time to celebrate, to offer the greatest sacrifice of our Lord Jesus on this minor basilica name after his mother, our mother. And I believe all of you here, you feel that you are blessed. You feel that you are blessed because we are gifted. Gifted with this time, this moment, God gave us this very moment to be together as one family. Maybe we came from different places, towns, provinces, or even countries. 
But today, God gave us this opportunity to be together, to journey together with our Blessed Mother. We are blessed. I hope that you feel that you are blessed today, a very special day for us all. But hey, wait. Yes, we are blessed, but our Lord Jesus will tell us another kind of blessing. If you are blessed, if you are gifted, Jesus tells us today in the Gospel, you are more blessed if you become a blessing for others. If you share your giftedness, that's the one Jesus wants us to feel right now. And how we share these blessings, how we become a gift to others. In the first part of the Gospel, tells us that this occasion, this part of John's Gospel, is the concluding part of the gospel when Jesus was the feet of his disciples. And he said, if you understand why I, what I did to you, and if you do it, you are really blessed. In other words, to be a gift for others and to be more blessed in the eyes of God, one word, service this is the greatest way of becoming a gift for others to become a blessing for others to serve and there are many kinds of or way of serving we just finished the election the national and local election and we know every candidate even those who lost told us that they will serve us if they win. And I'm sure all those who won this election, that's also their mantra. I will aspire to become a leader because I want to serve. But what kind of service that Jesus is telling us? Do what I did to you a service accompanied with humility a service that brings sanctification this is what jesus wants us if we serve we serve that brings us or leads us for our sanctification a leader a servant that really serves is a servant that sanct being sanctified his life. And a leader that serves, that being sanctified, is a leader that sanctifies also the one he serves. This is the service that Jesus tells us. That is why when Jesus serves us, when Jesus gave his life, when Jesus gave his body to us, that is the greatest service because we received his service for our sanctification. And if we are sanctified through service, this brings us and leads us for our salvation. In other words, a leader is, or a servant that serves leads his people to God because sanctification is to go to God and sanctification that brings salvation. My dear friends, let us pray together that God may give us may give us this grace in our own way, in our own capacity, may we serve that sanctifies our lives and sanctifies people. If you are a father, if you are a mother, if you are a public servant, if you are a religious leader, may you serve 
that sanctifies your love and bring sanctifications for others because in the end what our aim is for our salvation we are blessed today because we are here mama mary our mother will accompany us to serve that brings sanctification and leads to salvation for us and for the people whom we serve. Amen. Please rise. Gathered together as a people in need, we pray to God the Father with humble hearts, trusting in His great mercy. And for a repetition, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who exercise leadership in the church may keep their commitment alive in the preaching of the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those invested with authority may lead and guide the people in the spirit of service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have abandoned their faith may be led back to the family of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those disheartened by suffering and sickness may find strength and consolation from Jesus, who was victorious over sin and death, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may receive their eternal reward, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, in the silence of our hearts, let us offer to the Father our personal intention. Almighty Father, you call us to be with you. May we be faithful in following your Son on the way to your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours 
may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our joy in our salvation at all times, to acclaim you, O Lord, but this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously. When Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed, through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the hail, halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the joyful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given off for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guarded into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and all the bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, holy pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be you wasted in the life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, 
O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Full of trust and confidence to our loving Father, together we pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. With you in our hearts, let us offer the peace of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Here is Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who do the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life and the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of the saving food. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Through the intercession of Blessed Mother, may bless you and your families, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has been offered. Go in peace and glorify our God by your lives. Thanks be to God. Prayer for blessings. Prayer for the blessing of uh, rosaries and other, uh, or prayer for the blessing of the sick, those who are sick or today, and then uh, the prayer for blessings of rosaries and other religious articles. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless us all. Yeah.